Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Mindy's Best. I'm so excited to have you guys here with me. We are in the month of November now and the holidays are in full swing. We are so excited to get going on the holidays. It is probably one of my very favorite times of year because I get to be around my family. Now we've already had a ton of family time this year, but it just seems special and different. In fact, right now as I am filming, I am looking outside there's a few little flurries going down outside and the, and the mountains are all covered with snow and I am so excited to just cozy up inside by the fire and just enjoy time together with our families. So some of you might ask, I'm hosting Thanksgiving or I'm even just having Thanksgiving for my family and I want it to be really special but I don't know how to create a special look on the table. So you guys, I am going to show you what I have done and the little Little tidbits of information that I found over the years to create a really, really pretty table, but not having to break the bank because I see these beautiful tables and I'm like, those were probably really expensive. It doesn't have to be. And I'm gonna show you what I do and the stuff I've collected over the years because it can be expensive if you wanna run out today and go buy everything, but let's collect it over time. And I'll show you stuff that you probably have in your own house that you can use. Okay, I wanted to show you the basics that we're gonna start with. I don't know what kind of dishes you guys have. I have just plain white dishes. I feel like they go with everything. This was a Christmas gift that my mother-in-law bought me, oh gosh, four or five years ago, and I have loved them. In fact, when I moved into my current house, the very first thing I did was stock my cabinet full of all of my dishes because I was so excited. So I bought these from Macy's. They were on a great sale and I really love them. I have gone through a couple of different sets of cups, you guys, and you're probably thinking, yeah, it's a cup, big deal. I actually bought these from TJ Maxx. I got a set of eight of them for like seven or eight dollars. They were super cheap. But I will tell you, I went to the dollar store yesterday and they also have cups almost identical to these ones. I think they're actually like a wine glass, but a, a, a small wine glass. And these cups, I have to tell you, I bought these originally because I really, really wanted a dessert cup. So I wanted to use these for a parfait. I bought these cups from Dollar Tree. They're the greatest quality too. So I initially bought these for parfaits and now I use them for special occasions. So I am going to put out two cups for Thanksgiving, one for water, one for a juice, and it also looks really fancy. So we're gonna do that. And this time my silverware is getting kind of old, so I need to buy new silverware. But I'm probably gonna stick with plastic cutlery because it just works really great. At party stores, you can buy really nice plastic plates that have like a gold rim around them and they just look fancy, but guess what? You don't have to do the dishes. Just toss them out. I mean, when I think of Thanksgiving and the dinner and all the cooking, the next part of that is the dishes. So if you're wanting to go for even a fancier look, I have noticed Walmart, even the Dollar Tree, they sell just a plain generic white plate. Now something I like to add to the white plate to just make it a little bit fancier is a gold charger or a silver charger, whatever your preference is. But I did also notice that they had these at Dollar Tree. I bought these off of Amazon because I have square plates, I wanted to have a square charger. I really love my square chargers. Again, I only pull those out when it's like a fancy time of year. I use them a lot during the holidays and maybe for special occasions like an Easter dinner or like a Mother's Day dinner, Father's Day dinner. Those kind of things are a little bit fancier setting. We don't use these on the regular because <laughs> it's extra things to clean. But for Thanksgiving, I like to go all out. I pull out all the stops and I make it gorgeous. I am also going to use these really pretty placemats. They are square as well. Usually placemats, they're rectangular, but these ones I'm doing a square placemat, I'm doing a square charger, and a square plate. And it looks really pretty all layered together. And so that's why I've chosen these ones. These have silver and gold in them. If you would have asked me about 10 years ago if I would have combined gold and silver, I would have been like, no, no, no but I wear gold and silver jewelry all the time. So I love gold and silver combined together. I think it's really pretty. And also, I bought these really pretty cloth napkins, TJ Maxx. They were like $4 for six of them. I have a place setting of 12 in everything. Uh, I guess except for my glasses. I have only eight of those. But I keep a place setting for 12 just in case we're having people over. Okay, so. I wanted to show you guys some alternatives that you might have laying around that could be really awesome for cups. 
I think that mason jars are really cute. If you're going for like more of a rustic farmhouse look, I think these are darling. You could even tie a little piece of twine, either like a brown piece of twine or something around the base of this mason jar and that could be your drinking cup and I think it looks really pretty. Another idea, I have bought these from Sam's Club and Costco before. These are actually the little Starbucks drinks. They're like a mocha drink. Well, you could drink them all, but save the glasses. These are really cute for parties. I use these all the time. So you could put a fun straw in these and use this as an alternative to a fun drink option. So be open about this. There are tons of different ways to do this. So Starbucks drink or mason jar. There's lots of different options. This Thanksgiving, we are having eight of us for dinner. My parents are coming over and my stepdaughter Maddie is going home to her mom and her grandma and grandpa in California so she won't be with us, but we're gonna set up this table right now for eight people. Okay, we are gonna start with a fresh canvas. I am going to leave this table runner because I really actually like the black. Most of it will be covered with pumpkins and a few other things that we're gonna put down the center of the table. I got these cute little name tag holders that I'm gonna put on every place setting. I gathered around some of these candles that I had. I like to do candlesticks when it's something fancy. These ones are kind of getting old and they've been really burned down. So I found some gold ones I have. I love gold, so we're gonna incorporate a lot of that. And we're going to use some more candles, little candles, and add in some more pumpkins. So let's get started. I'll show you what to do first. centerpiece for your table. I like to have a focal point being in the middle and I usually go the tallest piece that's going to be on my table. Now I want to use these. I used these last week when I put up all my Thanksgiving decor. So I'm gonna put this in the center and I didn't expect these candlesticks to be so tall and I'm actually trying to decide if they just look like the front of a unicorn but we're gonna go with it because I think that they're actually really pretty. So we're gonna use these right to the side of my centerpiece. I found these candles at a really great discount at I think like Ross or TJ Maxx, one of those home goods stores. So I'm gonna just set these out. I love the glitzy. I was thinking of using all three, but I think I'm just gonna use two of them and put them on each side. I am very much a symmetrical person. So when it comes to decorating, I like to have the same thing on both sides. I don't know that that's proper decorating, but we're gonna go with it because that's what I like. Um, I pulled together my favorite big pumpkins that I wanna use, so I'm just gonna throw pumpkins in and around everywhere. Uh, these I was able to find on clearance at TJ Maxx last year. I love these ones. They're metal and they're really nice. So I'm gonna put the bigger pumpkins around and then I'm gonna go in and fill in with smaller ones. We are not gonna use this guy. But I do love this sign. A friend made this for me a couple of years ago. So I am also going to try and stick it right in here next to our centerpiece because I want it to have the feeling of everybody just gathered around the table, just enjoying everyone's company. So even though we're having a small group, we still want to feel that homey vibe. So I'm gonna go grab some more pumpkins and put some more out to fill in the space. Okay, now the centerpiece and the center of the table is all decorated. I used picks that I had left over from last year, so I was able to just throw a couple of those on the table in between the pumpkins to kind of just fill it up a little bit. I really like how it turned out. It is <laughs> it's actually a little bit better than I did last year. I'm kind of surprised. I think it looks really good, but now it's time to put on our placemats, our napkins, chargers, cups, plates, silverware, all of those things. Okay, you guys, this is how we're gonna start. I am going to throw down all of the placemats because we are expecting eight people. I'm gonna put eight, or I'm gonna put four on each side. 
so we're not too crowded, we have enough room. Guys, I wanted to show you one complete place setting and then I'll set the rest of the table. So all I'm going to do is we're going to layer, layer, layer. So I'm gonna start with my gold charger. As you can tell, I don't have a ton of room around my charger to my placemat. I like less placemat on my table because then you get to see more of the beautiful table that I do have. Then we're gonna go in with our napkin. I have folded it in half and then I'm gonna fold it in half again. So it's just long and skinny, just like this. This is the tricky part, that you're probably wondering, what are you doing right now? I'm going to put it under the plate and let it hang down in front of the table. But we're gonna do it just like this. I'm going to layer it with the dinner plate first, and then I'm gonna go in with the salad plate. So there's, there's multi-levels here, and I think this is so pretty. Then I'm going to put my small water glass on the inside and my tall goblet on the outside. So that's what I'm going to do. I still need to add cutlery and their little name tag. Okay, we're gonna go with traditional place setting here. We're going to do two forks on the left side. Typically one is smaller than the other, but in this case, they're both the same size. And then I am going to do the knife and the spoon to the right side. There we have it. Okay, it's all complete and I love the way it looks. I think one of my very favorite parts is the way that these napkins look hanging from the charger. I just think it's really, it's really elegant looking. So we have the salad plate, the dinner plate, the napkin, cutlery. I don't know why I'm calling that cutlery. Silverware and then our two cups. And my husband just walked upstairs and he says, but where is all the food supposed to go? Well, if you're the type to put your food on the table, this might not work for you. But we use our island to put all of the Thanksgiving food and then usually that's cleaned off and we'll put the drinks and stuff over there. But this is where all the food will be displayed. But this is where all the conversation happens. And you don't wanna to go too big with your centerpieces, by the way, because you don't want it to block people's faces so that you can't have conversation with them. If you're having a lot of people over, there's a chance that you might have to have more tables than this. And if you don't have that many place settings of your own dishes, I'd suggest going paper plates or the plastic ones that look a little bit fancier. Make it easy on yourself. Don't kill yourself on Thanksgiving. There's enough that already needs to be done. This shouldn't be a stress. That's why I'm telling you guys about this early because this is kind of a dry run for me so that I know Thanksgiving day, this is my plan of attack. I'm gonna have this dialed in. So the only thing missing that I'm adding this year that I did not do last year are these really cute little place settings. So I'm gonna write their name on these and then I'm going to stick it in this little wooden piece and that's how they know where they're sitting. And then I found this really, really cute Sharpie marker that is a bronze metallic color. I just think it looks really festive. So I'm gonna write all of their names on these cards and set those on the table. Okay, so here we have it. Now I can't decide if I like it on the, on the plate or if I like it just in front of the plate. I think I like the idea of nothing touching the plate that they're eating on. So I will probably stick it back there. But you guys, here it is. It can be as simple or as crazy as you would like it to be. Just do whatever works for you. I love hosting people. I love doing stuff like this. It makes me happy. It's one of my hobbies. So doing this like gets me so excited. I am so excited for the holidays and I hope this Thanksgiving season that as we're heading into the holidays that you'll take time to really show gratitude for the things that you've been given, for the blessings that have come into our lives and be grateful that we're able to surround ourselves with those that love us. But you guys, Happy early Thanksgiving. I love you all and I am so grateful for all of you being here with me. You're all incredible. You all have worth and I am grateful that you are in this space with me all the time, cheering each other on, cheering me on. It is something that I am so grateful for. So on Mindy's Best, do your best because your best is enough. If this isn't your best, don't do it. Just be you, whatever it looks like for you this Thanksgiving. I hope that you guys have a great holiday. Show a little gratitude and make a little list of the things that you're grateful for this year. I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging with me and I'll see you next week.